Hello, welcome to Reformation and Revival Now. Um, I want to give you the insight to a special thing that we're doing uh, for the next several days. I will say the next uh, 15, 16 days. I want to call it Operation Christmas. Now you might say, well, what do you mean Operation Christmas? Well, for those of you who are listening to this video, you probably know my views and how I feel about Christmas. But let me state it again. There are a lot of pagan traditions in Christmas, which I am well aware of. So if you want to write me and tell me why you disagree, trust me, I will respect it. But let me just share with you what is on my wife and I's heart. Christmas presents an opportunity to share Christ with others. That is all I'm concerned about. I am not concerned about uh, some of the things that are, are wrong about the way we celebrate Christmas here in the States. It's so commercialized. And even in the religious community, some of the things that we do, which are probably not really too relevant to Christmas at all. But one thing is always going to have the Lord's attention, and that is souls, people coming to Jesus Christ. Operation Christmas is to all of us. This time of year when people are sensitive, you can minister to so many people. People are sensitive this time of year. Some people are very depressed and sad. Some people are suicidal. Others are indifferent because a lot of their loved ones have gone on and Christmas is not what it used to be. So you have to remember our Christmas is not about Christ. It's about family. It's about celebration, the Christmas tree, the gift giving and all these things. Well, what happened if all those things, food, family, gifts, trees, decorations, celebrations, and all of a sudden all those people disappear. All of a sudden you have an empty Christmas because that Christmas really wasn't on a foundation of Jesus Christ. Now you have the opportunity now to introduce some very lonely people. Some of those lonely people are very rich people that had it all, that had the fancy Christmas, that had the tree, that had all those things. And now all of a sudden their loved ones have moved on or their children have grown up and gone away and started their families. You have a lot of lonely people during Christmas time. And then of course there's the other side. You have a lot of needy people that feel bad about Christmas time because they'll never get anything during Christmas time. They're poor, impoverished. There's nobody that's going to bring toys or goodies to them. And there's just so many opportunities to minister during Christmas time. Operation Christmas is simply to take the opportunity to minister the love of Jesus to people at this period. Now, let me give you an example. Um, I, my videos don't are not what you call viral. I don't get that many views. I don't get that many clicks. But I can tell you this. When I begin to circulate my videos, particularly my Christmas video around this time, it will get more hits during that time than any time the entire period is used. Now people use click on that throughout the year, but at Christmas time it might receive 20, 30 hits just because of the season it's in because people are searching and people are looking for that what they call Christmas magic. Well, it's not Christmas magic that they need to, to find. It's Jesus Christ who they need to find. It's Jesus Christ. And now you have that opportunity to share Jesus with people. Take advantage of what this opportunity uh, can afford you. Uh, some people uh, think that a Christmas party is having wine and putting on Christmas music and dancing and getting a little tipsy and having fun. And some people even have da dancing girls at their Christmas parties and things like that. I've heard of all sorts of things during Christmas parties, but there's one thing that's very consistent. People will be open regardless of their walk of life. There are some people that are even atheists that will go along with the Christmas thing. Oh, it's what people do during this time of year. They'll even be a little more understanding towards you. I'm just telling you, take advantage of what God has given you this season. Operation Christmas is simply reaching out with the love of Jesus during the holiday season when people tend to be a little more open than they are usually. And I'm asking you to participate. Though this is not a classical Christ, uh, um, Christmas message that I like to preach, I still want to share this word because you're going to pass people that you may not even realize that are hurting, some may have lost a husband, 
And Christmas is now dead to them. Christmas is painful because the spouse that they shared the Christmas with is gone forever. Now you can introduce them to somebody that will never leave them nor forsake them. And you know who that is, of course. It's Jesus Christ. Jesus is the reason that somebody said, well, you know, we should, we should serve we should celebrate Christmas in a more Christian manner and then things will go better. I don't disagree with that, but I'm telling you this, you have an opportunity while the person's life is broken or hurt over a situation, you have an opportunity now to share with them Jesus Christ. Don't miss that opportunity. If you can't share Jesus with them, how about just praying with them? How about just being a strong arm? How about just being a listening ear? There's all sorts of ways that you can minister God's love during this season. Well, God bless you. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you. But make someone, else, make someone else's Christmas merry by sharing Jesus with them. God bless you. And I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.